everyone welcome back to my channel how are you doing today <laughs> you know if this is your first time um, watching a video on my channel thank you so much for stopping by please be sure to subscribe and to turn on the notification button so that anytime I drop a video you will be the first to know <laughs> of course then if you are I mean you're a regular you watched more than one video two videos on my channel oh goodness thank you so much you know this is a growing channel so really I appreciate you stopping by to watch the video I appreciate you you know liking I really do appreciate it it's it's a lot of encouragement because you know <laughs> This takes a good amount of work, I must tell you honestly, but I, I told myself I wanted to do this and I know, yes, it takes really some time and some effort and I'm still, I mean, getting to know some things, but thank you so much for the encouragement. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get right into today's video. So today we'll be talking about makeup. <laughs> I'm sure you were not expecting to hear me say that. So we're talking about makeup today. I'm sure you know what I'm talking but about. Let's just go back a little so that you know how far back we're talking about. It said the, I read something online, so that's what I'm reading. It said the word makeup was coined in 1821. Uh, 18, not 19. 1821. To mean manner in which something is put together. It was first used to mean cosmetics in 1886. Were you born then? Were you born then? <laughs> that's a long time ago. Today... There's something I want to talk about. Now, we're talking about makeup, right? Now, there are three areas I want us to focus on when we talk about makeup. I know, yes, you know the makeup of face and all that, you know, ladies, even guys, some guys do the makeup, I mean. <laughs> so, but I want to bring it to something much more, I don't want to say more serious, because, I mean, makeup is serious business, but something even more personal. Um, three things really that we're going to be talking about today on today's um, um, video now we talk about makeup we focus on the external part you know your beautiful face people come out looking so good I mean, but have you met people who are of course so beautifully made up they look so beautiful on the outside everything is perfect outside but your heart is so I, should I use the word dirty? The inside, it doesn't correspond with the outside. And you're wondering. So that's one area I want to talk about, the makeup of your inside. And let me give you a definition for that because a definition of makeup that is related to this, you say makeup is the makeup of something. The makeup of something or someone is the combination of things that form it. So now I'm talking about the makeup of your heart the makeup of your inside what is inside how is your inside character building is something very personal it's something that although you have parents who might teach you build um teach you certain things that help you build your character the ultimate character building really rests in you you see some people that you get to meet with them you get to talk to them you begin to wonder at least i begin to wonder like how did you get here? So all I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, as you focus on the outside, you also need to focus on the inside. So you're beautiful on the outside, but what's your content? What is inside you? What is the state of your heart? Are you beautiful inside? Can someone get to know you and they are happy they know you, they are happy they've met you? You know, what are the things that Make up you. I mean, there's some people there, they are so full of bitterness, they're so full of anger. You know, when you talk about um, people that have integrity, you can't count them on the list. If you talk about people that lie, they are on that list. I mean, lying is like a default setting. You know, it comes to them, in quote, naturally. It's a default setting with them. Backstabbing is a default setting. Why? You must pay attention to your inside. So as beautiful as your outside is, whatever it is, you know, you put on this lovely makeup, it looks so good. But what about the makeup of your inside, the makeup of your heart? How are you working on it? What are the things you are putting together? There are essential traits. We're talking about things in your heart. Compassion, kindness, you know, integrity, honesty. 
you know, basic, I call, I call them basic human uh, qualities. But today, they, they, they have, it's, it's almost looking like when we see, these are things that are supposed to be natural to us as people. But it's, it's almost so rare that we see this trait and we, we're so happy that, oh, this person is such a person of integrity. But you're actually supposed to be a person of integrity. Oh, this person was so compassionate. This person showed kind. Well, you are supposed to do that. So I'm saying, as you pay attention to the outside and makeup now, let's even leave beyond the makeup of cosmetics and all. Sometimes we pay attention, you know, the way we look, you know, you come out of your house, you're looking up bathed up, you want your everything to be on point for the guys, you know, your haircuts, your beards, everything just on point, you know, you spray the perfume, you're looking all set. But inside, is very, very scattered. So you must pay attention to the inside. The second one is makeup with people. <laughs> yes, yes. Makeup with people. Now, this is also a definition of makeup you'll find in the dictionary. I said, to forgive someone and become friends again after an argument or disagreement. Okay. Have you met people? Or maybe even one of them. <laughs> Somebody did something to them. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, even if it was yesterday, whatever it is. And they have refused to let it go. This thing that this person did, you have said in your life, no matter what will happen, if it's, you will never forgive this person. You will continue to. <laughs> how do you, how, how are you able to leave? You see this person and you are upset. You remember afresh. Of course, there are peculiar, peculiar cases, I understand. For example, maybe someone who has been molested maybe by a parent or whoever or something and they hold that. But interestingly, it's all part of it. Because the truth about it, there's something they say. When you you are angry at somebody or hold something against somebody, you're imprisoning yourself. Don't them. I've seen people that keep mad. They tell you, this person, I will not talk to this person. I have not talked to this person in 14 years, 15 years. And you're wondering, my God, how do you leave? How, how are you able to do it? Now, see, there's a difference between giving people space. For example, let's say there's someone who is doing something that is affecting you, maybe physically, emotionally, psychologically, maybe just affecting your mental health or whatever it is. Whatever it is, of course, there is the one of giving that person space. Maybe you have that friend that consistently talks you down, you know, and never wants to celebrate your achievements or whatever it is. You can give that person space. But does it mean that you hold it? And anytime you see the person, you're upset and you know. You would know it's very easy to know when you're angry and bitter, when you're holding on to something. You may say, oh, I forgive you, I forgive you. Your heart will tell you what the view, the truth is. You see the person, you remember that event. You see the person, you're so upset all, of, all over again, you know? So look at yourself, look at your life. Are there people that you are so upset about, you carry, because let me tell you something, it does you more damage. Bitterness, anger, those are things that cause sicknesses in your body. And yes, it is possible to live a life free of that. It is possible to live a life where you don't have anybody on your list. You know, some people have their list of offenders. Number one, this person did this to me. I will never forget. Number two, <laughs> you don't need it. So what am I saying? Make up with people. I'm not saying that maybe, for example, if there's someone that has been causing you some real damage, maybe somebody abused or something. I'm not saying you should go back to that person and say, oh, I want to make up with you. You know, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't mean um, go back to who I'm saying. Let it go. Let it go in your heart. Forgive them. That's essentially what I'm saying. Forgive the people that cost you hurt. Forgive the people that cost you pain. Forgive the people that cost you to maybe drop out of school. Forgive the people that cost you to lose your job. Forgive the people that hurt you. Maybe you were in a relationship with the person. Forgive the person that broke their promises to you. Yes, I know I'm asking a lot, but for your sake, you need to let it go. You do. So, that is one makeup you need to do. And the third one and the final one is make up your life and i want to give you the definition for that one makeup is the different things that something consists of so the way in which the parts or ingredients of something are put together it is a physical mental and moral constitution so make up your life take a look at your life you know take um there's a word 
business people use, you know, you sit and you take a, if, yes, take an inventory of your life. Look through your life. What are the areas you need to improve? What are the things you need to add? Are there people you need to let go of? Yes, I know I said make up with people there, but the truth about it is, I, like I said, makeup does not mean that go back to the people that have that have damaged you in some way maybe cause some damage in some way or whatever it is because there are some people you will need to let go of so look at yourself are there people you need to let go of are there friendships you need to cut off what what do you need to put in place what new skills do you need to learn maybe you're a business person yes you have been successful at your business but is there a new thing you can learn so that you can maintain relevance what else? You're a student. How can you be a student with a difference? You know, you're an entrepreneur. How can you be an entrepreneur with a difference? What are the things you can add? What are the things you need to take out? What are the I exercises? remember how for so long I told myself, I want to shed weight. Oh, I want to shed weight. The weight didn't shed until the day I said, okay, enough is enough. I need to get this done. So look through yourself. Look at your life. Take an inventory. What do you need to add? What do you need to, you know, when they do makeup, you see them, they add this here, they add this here, they do this here, they do this, they ship in this, you know, they put a bit of color here, they put a, what are the things you need to put? So take time, look at yourself, take an inventory. What do you need to add? What do you need to drop? Who do you need to meet? Who do you need to connect with? Who are the new friends you need to make? Who are the friends you need to drop? What area of your life do you think you need to improve? Look through, look through, and then make the adjustments. You make it, you make up, you make up, you know, you add whatever needs to be added, you clean up whatever needs to be cleaned, you put color in whatever, you know, the areas that need more color or whatever it is, so that you have a beautiful life because your life is like, your, is a garden, it's your garden. It is what you plant there that everyone is gonna see. You know, if you plant sunflowers, that's what we're gonna see. If you plant roses, that's what we're going to see. You're not going to plant roses and see sunflowers. It's not going to happen. So what do you want the world to see about your life? And it's not going to happen like, you know, you're just living one day. You just No, it's a deliberate decision. And the life you are to, you're living today, whether you like it or not, it's a product of the decisions you made in past. You say, oh, no, I did not make any decision. No, the decisions you didn't make is what produce where you are. So you look at yourself. Okay, maybe you're not where you wanted to be, you know, in your mind. You, you're not where you wanted to be. Okay, so what can you do? What are the next steps you need to take? I know, yes, it is. You don't need to tell me this because I always tell people, I don't just come and talk because when I talk, I'm talking to myself. I, I know the journey I'm on and I know the challenges I've faced, you know, but I keep talking to myself and say, see girl, <laughs> This road, you are going to get to where you want to get to. Sometimes I'm, my, I'm even my own obstacle. Maybe sometimes some laziness, some procrastination. Maybe something I was supposed to do, I didn't do. Someone I was supposed to call, I didn't call. You know, sometimes I just I just let some things go. I'm like, I can't stress myself. Either things I'm working on. So as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Do you understand? So look through what, what do you need to adjust. I think I'm going to stop here for now so that this is not too long. <laughs> But I'm sure you get a picture of what I'm trying to say. So what did I say? You make up your inside, that is your heart. Let it be a beautiful heart. You know, people should come in contact with you and be so blessed to know you. I know, yes, sometimes they have to go through the outside and, you know, get to know the real you. But when they do get to know the real you, let it be a beautiful sight to behold. Number two, you make up with people. Let go of offense. You don't need it. Let it go. Let it go. It will not benefit you. Let it go. Yes, the person. Yes, let it go. <laughs> Number three, make up your life. Look at yourself. What do you need to adjust? What do you need to add? What do you need to do? Do you need to start making impact in other people's life? Whatever it is, make up your life. So those are the three areas of makeup. Your inside, with people, and your life. So I hope you're able to learn something because when these thoughts dropped, you know, in my heart, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to share this, you know, <laughs> and I'm glad I've done that. So I really hope you were able to pick something from what I said. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video and I'll get to talk to you soon. I'll see you in another video. Remember, you make up your inside, you make up the people and you make up your life. Bye.